in the last four years, our pulse import has gone up by seventeen percent, okay? We are one country which consumes maximum amount of pulses, but we are not able to grow them anymore because there is no water. Most of it is rain water irrigated, but rain is not dependable anymore, suddenly it rains heavily, again it doesn't. One fundamental reason is there is not enough vegetation on the land. We need to understand this, that before nineteen fifties, we were having famines in this country. When we had famines, what do you… Th what is the kind of number you think it killed? Does it kill in dozens or hundreds, in thousands? It killed in millions. Here in two and a half months, three and a half million people, okay, in the Bengal famine in 1943, we are once again driving ourselves into the same place. Well, people may not die in that many numbers because today you will import food, this, that will happen, all that will happen. But there will be serious disruption of life because once there is no water in the village, you will have an exodus. You will have people camping in your city roads all over, you can't do nothing with them, okay? If you try to do anything with them, they'll get wild. And the civil strife that you're looking at in the next thirty, forty years is very, very big. This is not about just trying to paint a doomsday picture. We are clearly driving in a certain direction. If we don't change our direction now, uh, inevitably we'll go towards certain situations. Now we need an enforceable policy which will determine around the water bodies how we should live, what we should do and what we should not do. This must be an enforceable law, otherwise this is not going to work. If we do something right in the next eight to ten years, if we sustain the way we do it, you can see in the next fifteen to twenty-five years, the flows in the river can go up by fifteen to twenty percent. Let's say next fifteen, twenty years we leave it and then we attempt it, then it will take hundred to hundred and fifty years to turn around. This is not activist talk, this is proper science.